Welcome to Inspired Living with Carrie Murphy, the podcast, where as your host each and every week, I am going to inspire you and empower you to share your message and step into that big vision you see for yourself. I'll be bringing you celebrity interviews, influencer insights, and my personal tips from decades as an on-camera talent, TV host, media expert, and entrepreneur, so you can build a brilliant seven-figure brand. Because when you're inspired, you inspire others. So let's go. Hey, it's Carrie, and welcome to episode five, where I'm going to be sharing with you the power of video. Now, if you're a business owner or an entrepreneur, you have known probably for a long time now that you need to show up on camera, that you need to be consistently using video to grow your business. And yet, since this global pandemic has hit us around the world, you maybe have found yourself in a place where you feel like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? How do I stand out above the noise? How do I really show up as an influencer? How do I convert? right? My events, my products, my services into this new digital space. And so today on this podcast, I'm going to really share with you the things that are working right now and quite frankly, have worked for a long time. But there's also some tweaks right now that we have to be mindful of in the season that we're in. Video is all about emotional connection. It always has been. Think about your favorite movie. Think about that scene that lights you up, that makes you laugh, that makes you cry, right? You never once say to yourself, oh my gosh, that screenwriter was amazing. Oh my gosh, the script, oh, every word was so perfect. How they delivered it was so perfect, right? We don't say that. We don't think that. What we do is we feel it. We feel that. Right. And that's what video is really supposed to do, whether it's used in our business or a different context. Video is all about emotional connection. And yet it is so easy for us to make it about us, about me. Right. And so the key when it comes to using video is to understand that video is not about you. Video is about the person that you're trying to reach through the lens. And as simple as that sounds, I know it is one of probably the toughest things to do because we're not born, you know, knowing how to be authentic to an inanimate object, right? And so that's what I teach. That's what we do at Inspired Living is we specialize in teaching entrepreneurs how to get over their fear, how to get over that need of, oh my gosh, I have to be perfect. I don't look good enough. I don't sound good enough. And really teach you how to understand who's on the other side of the lens. Because that, my friend, is the power of video. It is when you reach one, you reach many. I wanna say that again. When you reach one, you reach many. When you press record and you have no idea who you're talking to, then the person on the other side, listening, watching, doesn't know that you're talking to them either. So what we have at our fingertips now is truly amazing. Growing up in entertainment, you know, I had to audition to be on camera. I got told no a million times. And now each and every one of us have these incredible platforms at our fingertips. At any moment, we can go live. We can upload a video. We can build out a YouTube channel. Like You don't need permission. There is no barrier to entry anymore. But because of that, right, there's just an inordinate amount of people and noise. And I often tell my clients who say to me, Carrie, you know what? I don't want to contribute to the noise. I say to them, you need to. That your message, the way you share it, your story is going to be so needed to one person, 10 people, a thousand people. And again, we need to get over this need of acceptance and validation and permission and be more focused on servant leadership right now, on really understanding that the camera is simply a conduit to reach the people that are looking for you. I mean, people are making a lot of money right now because they're meeting them where they're at. We're all online, we're shopping, we're listening, we're looking for growth opportunities, we're looking for 
coaches, we're looking for trainers, we're looking for dietitians, right? We're all looking for things. And my question to you is how are you being found? Or are you the best kept secret? So the good news is that you have an incredible opportunity, probably one of the most amazing opportunities you're going to have in this lifetime to have a captive audience, to have millions of people online right now. But if you don't know how to cut through the noise and how to really show up as an authority, you're not going to get the traction or the conversion that you're looking for with video. So I want to go back to the number one most important thing when it comes to using video is connection. It's really understanding that video is all about emotional connection, getting someone to feel something. And you can't get anyone to feel anything if you're stuck in your head. And understanding that at any time you press record, you need to know, I can know in your bones who you're talking to. What's their greatest pain? What challenges are they going through? What's possible for them once they get your product or service in their hands, right? What is on the other side of their experience once they start working with you? When I work with our clients, I go through the difference between demographic and psychographic, right? We've been taught if you went to marketing or you, you built your website, you know, you're, you talk a lot about demographic, which is all the external uh, components of your avatar or your ideal client, where they live. Are they religious? How many kids do they have? How much money do they make? But where video meets the heart is really understanding the psychographic of your ideal client, understanding the emotional pulse, understanding where they're at in their life. And again, what, what is painfully showing up for them every day? What's keeping them from the success that they want? And again, what's possible for them once they work with you or get your product or service. So when you speak from that place, instead of, hi, I'm Carrie Murphy, and I'm an on-camera media expert, video coach, and entrepreneur, like no one cares. No one cares about that. What they do care about is me meeting them where they're at. So I might say, instead of starting out that way, are you someone who knows you want to make a great difference on this planet? Do you feel deep down that you have this big offering, that you have a big vision for your life, but you don't know what steps to take to make it happen? You know you need to be using video, but the thought of it is overwhelming. It brings up all this fear. You don't feel like you look good enough or sound good enough. And then the technology is overwhelming. If this is you, I'm Carrie Murphy and I can blah, 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 blah. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's a completely different approach, starting with the pain or possibility versus starting with you. And I have to say, when it comes to video, it's one of the biggest mistakes I see is that people make video about them instead of the person they're serving. But when you start serving that one person, and by the way, it just starts with one person, you're not going to be reaching millions of people, right? And we need to stop comparing ourselves to other people that have those big followings. I know you do it because they started with one person too. And when you reach that one person, that one person becomes two people and two becomes four and four becomes eight. You're with me, right? You get it. So this is about consistency and longevity. So when I talk to my clients about video, I often share my four C's that I want to share with you today. So I've already talked about the first one, which is connection. That emotional connection is the most important thing. And yet for many of us, we press record and we become a robot, right? We're the most inauthentic version of ourselves. Because we're in eco, we're stuck in our thoughts. And do I sound okay? Do I look okay? Instead of showing up talking to that one person, right? So that's going to be a huge transformation for you if you just take that piece of advice and run. All right. But the next thing is consistency. No brand was built overnight. And the fact that we have all these social media metrics that we're looking at comparing ourselves with often keeps us from even starting. But any brand starts with consistent messaging over time. It is no secret. That is it. You need to be consistent in showing up for your audience on a regular basis, whether that's doing a Facebook Live every week, using Instagram stories, IGTV, YouTube, whatever platform you use, I want you to consider yourself a broadcast channel, right? If you love a show and you never know when you can watch it, you're gonna stop watching it 
right? Because it's just too hard to figure out the airtime. Don't make it hard for people to figure out your airtime. Like be consistent with whatever platform you're using and use it on a regular basis. The third, when you do that, it's all about credibility. There is a lot of noise online. I get it. There's a lot of people online. And quite frankly, that's not changing. There's just going to be more people coming online, right? Billions of people. So the only way you're going to stand out is to shift from generalist to specialist. I cannot tell you how important it is for you to wrap yourself up in this and to truly implement it in your business and in your life. Instead of being a business coach, right? Be a business coach that focuses on video, right? Get known for that one thing. By the way, when I started Inspired Living, it was all things to all people. It was health and fitness and relationships and money and business because that was Inspired Living to me at the time. It was all things. And quite frankly, no one knew what in the world I did, right? And maybe you feel that way right now. Like, why is it so hard to get clients and customers? It's because they're not clear with what you do or how you can help them, right? So let's get clear. When you become a specialist, when you get known for that one thing, two things are gonna happen, right? First of all, you're gonna see a lot more people joining your community, your list, and you're gonna have much greater conversion. Because we're in this pandemic right now, people are searching for experts. We don't want a generalist. When we're looking for a business coach, a dentist, a nutritionist, a doctor, whatever it is, wouldn't you spend more for someone who is a specialist in their industry, who is at the top of their game than someone who does everything? You know, if you're diagnosed, you know, with a disease, are you going to go to a general practitioner or are you going to go to the person that specializes in exactly what is happening to you? Right? Does this make sense? Like this is a business changer. And yet, Again, most people don't want to specialize because they're scared. One of my clients is actually a fitness coach, but she's a Christian fitness coach. And she's not, she's not ashamed of it. She's totally proud of her faith. And again, that just differentiates her from other fitness coaches out there. And whether she's right for you or wrong for you doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is she's going to reach the right people with specializing and niching down. One of our other clients, she's a realtor. We work with a lot of realtors, in fact. And she was interviewed the other day and they coined her a termite expert. Now, she did not, she did not crown herself a termite expert, but she giggled because she was getting all of this feedback and just got asked to do something else because someone had called her a termite expert. See, so there's such great opportunity for you when you niche down and really specialize with what you're doing, because then you become more credible. And the more credible you are online, the more people will follow you and buy from you, right? It's just that simple. So it comes from connection, right? Connection first, consistency, then your consistency will lead to credibility and your credibility will lead to conversion. That is the power of video. It's those four C's. You put those into action. You shift from generalist to specialist in your industry. You learn how to speak to one person at a time. Your business will grow right now. I can promise you that. But if you continue to try to catch the ocean, you put out these generic messages, you speak in the same language that everyone else does, you're not authentic in your approach, you don't know your core message or what you offer. You don't understand the pain or possibility that your ideal client is facing. It's going to be challenging, but it doesn't have to be. There is so much opportunity for you right now. And in fact, there's never been a better time to start using video. So in my private Facebook group, it's called Ignite Your It Factor. Again, growing up in entertainment, I heard that term a lot, it, like she has it. And I remember when I owned my talent agency, I would have these open auditions every month. And I would have dozens of people come in to audition. And every once in a while, someone would walk into the audition room. We gave them some copy to read. And even though they were incredibly green, maybe they didn't have any experience, there was something about them that was just magnetic. I would see it and I would say, oh, they have it, right? And then we have shows like The X Factor. There is an intangible quality 
a magnetic essence to someone when they have it. And the good news is, in my 10 plus years of training thousands of entrepreneurs, we all have it. The problem is, most of our life, we've been told to put it on the dimmer switch. Don't talk too loud. Don't be too this. What are you doing? Like, you're going you're gonna to do what? You're going to start what? <laughs> right? And so what I love to teach you to do is turn it up. Like, turn that light up. Turn those qualities up. Stop apologizing. Stop waiting for validation. Stop waiting for someone to give you the opportunity for permission and just start. Start your own show. Start your own channel. Be consistent with your message and watch your business grow. If you want to join me for a masterclass that we put on a pretty regular basis, it's called Video Confidence and Conversion. I want you to come join our Facebook group. Again, it's called Ignite Your It IT Factor. And it's a free group. We have thousands of entrepreneurs and visionaries in there. The energy is incredible. But more importantly, you're going to have support around what it is that I taught today and really implementing that and seeing result in your business. I lost a business in the last recession. And now my business is growing. And the difference is not only have I invested in a ton of mentorship throughout the years, and I have an incredible team, but I really understand who I am, what I offer, and how to reach the people who need me most. And when you understand that, you will also see that your business will continue to grow during these times. So I hope that you got some really juicy nuggets from this podcast. I always love to hear from you. So please share your comments, share this with someone. And I really hope you implement the strategies here. And I hope to see you in the Facebook group. You've just heard another uplifting episode of Inspired Living with Carrie Murphy, the podcast. I hope you loved it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. And if you'd like to know more about Inspired Living or to get your hands on many of our awesome free resources, such as the Be Studio Ready Guide, simply visit us at inspiredliving.tv forward slash podcast. Remember, your vision is your destiny, and we're here to help you bring it to life. Join me again next week for another extraordinary episode.